see that? Y'all see this? Yeah, I'm picking this guy up today. Ninja Spawn. They got a few other things in here too. I'm at GameStop. They got a few other things in here too. See that? They even got, uh, got this, these Falcons right here. They got this Hulk right there. And um, got this guy right here too. Thinking about picking him up. Man, got him. <laughs> I'll catch him at a later date. I want to get this saber tooth right here. And um, man, they got some more. I got Vision back there. It's a Fantastic Four. Yeah, but well, it's gonna be a review right here, along with this. So um, yeah, they got some um guys right there. Um, America Chavez. So we're gonna pick up this guy right here. And um, I will catch y'all in a few minutes. Hey, YouTube, for the click. I just left out of GameStop. GameStop was stacked, bruh. GameStop was stacked. Um, they got figures in GameStop. GameStop is where it's at right now. People, go, 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 check out your GameStop. Y'all just seen what I just showed y'all. So, a little recap. This, this is gonna be a toy hunt slash review. And um, I know y'all saw me when I picked up the uh, saber tooth. I put the saber tooth back. And I got this re reverse flash right here. This guy look dope. This guy look dope as hell. Can't wait to do a review on this guy. So I picked him up. He won, but um, 20 bucks. Also, we got this Spawn Ninja. I don't know if y'all can see that guy. Got this Spawn Ninja. He on the top of all uh, of the review list. McFarlane, you're doing your thing. McFarlane is doing his thing, y'all. So, after this hunt, you will see a review of this figure. Let's go. Fig hunts need fig views. Fig hunts need fig views. Fig hunts need fig views. Right here on YouTube. Fig hunts need fig views. Fig hunts need fig views. Fig hunts need fig views. Right here on YouTube. Step off, people. I'm taking over. Hey, YouTube, fellow collectors, newcomers, and most of all, people who do love my content. It's your boy, Mr. Star, back at it again with another figure review. Today, upon your phone, TV, or computer, we have here, what we don't have here is the Ninja Spawn. Now, I don't know where he yet. Every time, this is like my third review, and every time I try to do a review, Fig ain't here. So, where is Ninja Spawn? Boom, there he is right there, Ninja Spawn. Game stop, McTart McFarlane doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? I picked this guy up today, Friday the 13th. I picked him up with the Game Stop saw him. And now, as you see in the video that I posted with this review, so y'all getting two for the price of one. You know what I'm saying? You're getting a figure hunt and a toy review? You know, who does that? Who does that? Me. That's who. So, without further ado, man, we're going to get into this guy, GameStop, McFarlane Toys, Spawn. Let's go. Okay, so the Ninja Spawn. We finally got this guy from GameStop, man, and it was an awesome hunt that I did today, Friday the 13th. But we ain't going to talk about that because y'all just saw that part of the um, video. This is the review part. So, Let's get into his detailed look. We're going to bring this guy close. Check him out. Focus. Check out those green eyes. That's dope. We're just going to get that detailed look, man. Check out his belt. Check out his skull on that guy. Awesome. And McFarlane, like I said, he do great detailed work on these figures, man. You know... Just by y'all looking at it, it's like how I'm looking at it right now. And it's it's awesome. And you really don't, you know, 
I know the true justice of a figure until you have this figure in your hand. Look at the belts, man. Look at those belt scraps. <laughs> look at those spikes. Look at look at his feet. His toes. He got toes, people. I did not know they they black, but he got toes and he got spikes on his toes. So but that's cool with me. That's cool with me. You know what I'm saying? There might be some socks <laughs> that you can see through. Uh, well, see the shape of his feet, probably. Just saying. But, um, yes. This ain't bad for 24 bucks, man. 24 bucks. Y'all tell me. McFarlane's taking over the game. He's taking over. Just look at the detail in this guy. Just look. Now that's um where you, you know, port the um sheath in his back. Cause you come with a sheath, cause you know you got to have somewhere to put his swords. And you know. Yeah, look at the detailing in the mask. All in this um this part of the mask. <laughs> I almost said ponytail, but I know that ain't no ponytail. Check out the spikes on his shoulder. They is dope. Dope as dope it can be. Yeah, so we're going to set him back up there. That was the detailed look of this guy, man. The detailed look of this guy is dope. McFarlane, you doing your thing. McFarlane is getting all my money. Hell, they getting y'all money, too. Because <laughs> y'all from somebody finna go buy this guy if they got it at GameStop. If they ain't got it, you can just order it. So, what I'm finna do now is, I, and, I, and I totally forgot about this part, the accessories. So, let's get into that right now. First and foremost, and we don't review boxes. We don't review boxes over here anymore. So every review that I do from this point forward, it'll be just about the figure, not the package that it comes in. Because y'all don't seen it already. Y'all don't seen it already. So why? Why use video time to show that? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to make the video as short as possible. So everybody, can, you know what I'm saying, watch. But I know it's going to be probably about a 20, 30 minute video. But anyway, let's get into it. It comes with these um, swords right here. Let's see if I can get these guys to focus. Yeah, get it to focus. There we go. Yeah, you come with these swords right here. Let's check out the detail in the handle. I don't need to see what one. So check out the handle. Yes, that's some good, good detailing right there. All the way down in the handle. Dope, baby. He also come with these sets right here now when i see these right here i think of kratos you know god of war he has something like this in his um in, in the video game but he had chains connect chains connected to it into his arms it will make me think about you know kratos god of war let's check out the um handles or the handle see that is dope great detail and it also got great detail in the in the um blade itself as y'all can see dope dope and last but certainly not least it comes with this um sheath this is what goes on the back and this way he stores um his weapons, his swords. So what we finna get into now is the articulation. So let's hit the articulation up right now.
So, size comparison time. And as you can see, we got Gunschlanger and we got Soul Crusher. And as you can see, him and Soul Crusher are about the same, but him and Gunschlanger, you know what I'm saying? Gunschlanger, he's just taller than all both of them. You know what I'm saying? All both of them. Moving right along. Okay, people, so we got both of the spawn figures up here with the ninja spawn. And as you can see, they scale across the top all the same. They all the same height, in my opinion. Moving right along. Okay, people, so she spawned on one stand, so I got to hold her. I sat here and best with her probably about a good 15, 20 minutes. I, say, I, can't, I ain't got the time. I ain't got the time. But as you can see, um, we got the Atlanta Falcon uh, spawn right there. When I see this spawn right here, meaning this guy, I think about the Atlanta Falcons, ATL. Don't y'all think about the Atlanta Falcons when you see this guy? But anyway, as you can see, they scale all across the top. They're about the same height. About the same height. So, final thought up next. So, here's my final thought. Awesome figure. Highly recommend this guy. I seen some reviews on this guy, which is not many. And one of the guys was like, you know, uh, it's my, I might not keep it. I might not keep it. You know what I'm saying? Why not? This is a dope figure. My father doing his thing. He was saying that he didn't have enough room or something to that effect. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, I don't see nothing wrong with the figure. You know what I'm saying? He going in my collection. And um, he's a dope figure, man. And, um... I mean, you just go get the guy. Go get the, go get him. He's a gangster right now. Add him to your collection. You feel me? Go get this guy. You need to be picked up. You, you, you're not a collective. You ain't got this guy in your collection. You feel me? I'm just saying. This is a ninja spawn. They got all types of spawn around this guy. All types. And um, I ain't even begun to scratch the surface of collecting all of them. But I am collecting as many of these guys as I possibly can. So, ratings, um, as far as the paint apps, from a scale to 1 to 10, give this guy, I ain't seen nothing wrong with mine, so I'm going to give him a um, 9.8 out of 10 for the paint apps. Um, articulation, uh, yeah, mm, I say about a 8.6 in articulation in the department. You know, before his his toys, um, or his figures rather, I'm not gonna say toys, figures, um, have a hard time getting into some certain types of poles. So, but you know, you know, you can put them in a pole, but you, you might go to the length of posing the figure, and you know, you might end up breaking them or you know, you know, tearing them up or something like that. And I ain't trying to do that. Um, accessories. He has two swords and two other swords on his back. You know what I'm saying? So, um, uh, that's probably going to be like maybe a 9.8 out of 10. And um, the paint apps, I think I did the paint apps already. If, if I didn't, the paint apps, you know what I'm saying, is, is, is dope. You know, I think I did the paint apps. I think I did. <laughs> But, um, yeah, uh, the detailing of the figure, heavily, it's heavily detailed, it's heavily detailed. And I see McFarlane slowing down on manufacturing these figures because, um, all the figures that you see with the exception of two, and that's those hand ninja back there, but all the other figures that you see is from McFarlane Toys and all them guys are standing without no stand. You feel me? So it didn't take me, you know, a long time to get them to stand up either. So I think he's listening to us, man. I think he listened to us. But overall rating of this um Ninja Spawn, hey, he gets a straight 9.7 out of a 10. How to recommend this guy go pick him up? They got to make game stop right now as we speak. $24.99. And I know that I was going to pick him up when I saw him. You know what I'm saying? So, um, as y'all can see in the uh, early part of this video, I picked up the um, saber tooth, but I didn't keep the saber tooth. I saw that reverse flash. I know what I had to have, the reverse flash. 
He won with 19 bucks. GameStop. So, GameStop doing their thing, man. They got figures that you will probably never ever see at a Target or Walmart. You'll never see that 20 years anniversary Hulk or the um, Iron Man, 20 year Iron Man. You won't see him at Target nor GameStop. And I saw one of the um, Thor Love and um, Thunder, the Thor, but I didn't get him because I wanted this guy you're looking at right now. So, like I say, go pick him up. That being said, this is your boy, Mr. Star. You're going to get ready and sign off. But first, if you new to this video or any of my videos for that matter, do yourself a favor, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you know when to upload a video. Now that being said, this is your boy Mr. Starge signing off to all the YouTube for the collectors, newcomers, and most of all, people that really do love my content, deuces, and I'll catch y'all on the next review. Peace out. By the way, I am recording this in cinematic mode, so that's why it's showing him real clear and everything else around him is blurred out just give y'all that focus on the figure itself deuces